What's up guys? As you can see, we made it to Mars. Just joking, sorry, lame joke aside, we are here at Mount Batu, which is one of the two active volcanoes in Bali. We're gonna go exploring. So like most days, the story starts here, in Changu, Bali. But unlike most days, Vanessa and I are about to hop on our scooter and head for Mount Batur, an active volcano in the Bangli district. Whilst our intention is not to climb the mountain, we are heading to the foot of the volcano in search of the black lava field, a constant reminder of the eruption that happened in 1968 that can be quite clearly seen from a great distance. When we finally reached our destination, we saw that the landscapes really were a cinematic dream, like something from an alien planet. To mark the occasion, Vanessa made sure she was fully prepared. Vanessa is sporting her face mask at the moment because she's scared of getting gassed by the toxic fumes. Yes. Especially the ones that come out of her bum. So when you pick this rock up, it's super light and you can actually see inside there's loads of air holes, I guess. So it's obviously not very dense, it's very, very light. So I mean, as I was saying, these rocks are super light and you can just pick up the massive ones and they don't feel like anything. Like, I'm gonna pick up this rock, you'll see. Pain. No. All right. <laughs> Maybe next time. Right next to the volcano lies Lake Batur. And this is where things get really interesting. Now, let's say that this rock here is a gung and this rock here is Batur, the two active volcanoes on Bali. Now you'll notice this rock is bigger because a gung itself is bigger and taller. It stands at 3,031 meters, which is over 1.3 kilometers taller than Mount Batur. But it hasn't always been this way. Now, about 20,000 years ago, Batur was actually taller than Mount Agung. And it stood at about 3,800 meters, which is over 750 meters taller than Mount Agung. Now, it was only due to an eruption of such great magnitude that the magma chamber actually collapsed and created a huge caldera or crater. So now what you see is Mount Batur and next to it, Mount Abang, and in the middle, Lake Batur. The caldera that this lake lies within is one of the largest and most impressive in the whole world. As you can see here, when viewed from above, it really does look like somebody has chopped the top of a volcano. You can see Lake Batur in the southeastern side of the caldera. Also in the southeast is Mount Abang. To the northwest of the lake is Mount Batur. The communities around the lake live mostly on agriculture and fishing. So because the ground is not solid and it's just made up of loads of little rocks, when you're walking it really feels unstable. So when you're going downhill, it's easy to slip. Good job. 
so you've got to be very careful. You coming, Vanessa? Yeah. Watch out. So we found the lava and now we're going home because we've both got headaches and we feel ill.